Okay, let's go ahead and get started with Article 1. We're going to be talking about hugging robots. I, it's, it sounded so bizarre when I first started reading this article. I was like, okay, like, where are they going with this? But it's actually got a really cool backstory. So Alexis E. Block was a master's student for robotics in, I think, University of Pennsylvania. And they asked her what she wanted to do as her thesis, like the main project that you want to work on during your years as a master's student. And she said, mm -hmm. hugging robots. Um, the reason for this is actually kind of heartwarming. Uh, her father had recently passed away and her mother lived like two and a half hour flight away. So she wanted to have a way where she could connect with her loved ones. And she thought that this would be a great idea. So she started working on it. And now she's a PhD student at the Max Planck ETH Zurich Center for Learning Systems. So even further from her mom in Wisconsin than she was before. That's exactly right. <laughs> so she's been working on this product and it's a robot that hugs and it's called Huggybot. Now Huggybot has gone through some iterations. It is currently on the fourth iteration that, that's being developed, but let's, let's talk about what Huggybot is and what's really interesting about it. So as you could tell, it's a robot that hugs, but what I thought was cool is that they've really dug deep into the mechanics of what a good hug should be, what a human hug should look like. So the robot has a body that's able to transform, like change its shape based on the person that it's hugging. It can change okay. its grip based on the size of the person that they're hugging. You know, you wanna make sure that you're not like compressing them to the point that you're crushing them. You yeah. want it to actually be like an enjoying hug. And they, they basically wanted to understand if people felt good about hugging a robot. And they did some trial tests. And Alexis said that people actually told them that they felt not only better about the robot, but they hugged the robot longer than they expected. That they, they saw like this thing in introverts where they, they thought like it was awkward to hug someone for a very long time, but because now it, was, it wasn't a person, it was a robot, they felt more comfortable with it. And that was super surprising to me, dude. That makes sense. So, like you, you're not worried about giving a robot a bad impression because it doesn't have feelings or emotions. So you just hug away. That's exactly right. And that, that kind of shocked me, but I guess it makes sense. I thought people would be more hesitant to like, I don't know, hug a robot, but it was, it was really interesting to learn about that. And now they're iterating through the different, um, the, the different models. And like I said, they're on Huggybot 4.0. Um, they want to start including these micro actions of hugging. So instead of just grabbing someone and waiting until they're ready to let go, you include, you know, patting on the back or like some gentle rubbing to really make it intimate. And um, they're making an app so that users will be able to control this thing and send hugs to their loved ones across the world. So like you mentioned, she's now at ETH Zurich and her mom is stateside. So she could be able to send virtual hugs. And like this is big for me because my family lives 13,000 miles away in Iran. So being able to interact with them somehow, like through a robot, it's never gonna replace the actual human, right? But it's able to supplement some of that interaction and just be like, hey, I'm here for you. Yeah, I'm right there with you, man. Uh, my girlfriend Nellie and I just did four years of long distance relationship That's in college. Tough. I that is tough. can't tell you how many times I just really wanted a hug. So something like this would have been cool. Also, I imagine, you know, a lot of folks are feeling like this after potentially being separated from loved ones during the pandemic. You know, what would you have done for a hug from someone that you're not able to see? This is, uh, you know, it's all, it's fresh in all of our minds. So it's cool to see this technology. I'm also interested in how they're going into the granular detail to make sure that it really replicates a human hug and how it feels like to hug someone. And like you're saying, all the micro aspects of a hug, like every time my grandpa gives me a hug, he pats me on the back. And it'd be really cool to see something like that replicated in this hugging robot if you know we ever had to give each other a remote hug using it. You're totally right. You're totally right. And you know, hugging, it, it actually releases a chemical in your body. It's called oxytocin. Like it, it makes you feel better. The love hormone. Yes, the love hormone. So what they're trying to do with the study now, like the next step of it, is that they talked about bringing people and exposing them to some sort of stressor, like stressing them out, and then having them hug the robot, like a group of them hug the robot, a group of them hug an actual human being, and a group doesn't hug anyone. Then they want to gauge their heart rate and their oxytocin levels in their saliva to see... Um, you know, if, if they had the same level of that love hormone in their body from the robot in comparison to human beings, or if 
there was any change in comparison to the baseline of no hug whatsoever. Well, that's really cool. And I think it's interesting how they found a way to quantify how, like, that feeling after you get a good hug, when you're feeling all powered up and, you know, that was a good hug. Um, it's cool that they're able to measure that, and then hopefully they can replicate it with their robots as well. Definitely. And one thing I want to drive home again, this is a quote from Alexis. I, I just want to get, get it out. She said, I don't believe robot hugs will ever be able to completely replace human hugs. However, much progress we make. But what robots can do is alleviate loneliness and perhaps even improve people's mental health in situations where physical contact is made impossible by distance or illness. So I, I thought it was a great follow-up to what you said about COVID and what it has showed us about being away from the ones we love in moments that really matter. And this really drives the point home. 